Hey blog buddies, how you doing? It's another week and another talkie blog. Uh, some of you might remember last week I asked on Twitter um, for you guys to submit questions because I said this week I would answer them on cam for you. And um, I don't think I'm going to have time to answer them all, but there are three that I thought were quite good and so I thought um, it would be good to make some time to answer them for you. Um, the first question that was asked was what was it like coming out? And um, I've been asked this question quite a few times, but it's one that I like to answer because I think that it's worth sharing coming out stories as much as possible. And um, my coming out was actually um, incredibly easy, actually. Um, my parents and my family were all very, very understanding. Um, I told my mother first, and um, she sort of advised that I wait a little bit and um, so that we could tell my father together and um, she was she was very accepting I mean when I told her um, the first thing that she said to me was I know um, so you know it's the old saying that mums know everything kind of rang true there I, I'm not sure how she knew although I suspect she probably found my porn stash and my journal and stuff like that um, she said that she wanted to let me uh, come out to her. Like I said to her, why didn't you tell me that you knew? And she said that it was kind of my decision to, to bring it up and that she was waiting for that. Um, so she was really understanding. And then we told my dad um, together um, about a week later. And it took him probably about six months to get used to the idea. He never had a problem with it. He never expressed that he had a problem with it. Um, and he was always supportive. But I think to, for him to really understand it, it took him about six months and to accept it as well. Um, Mum told all of her family. She told her sisters. Um, and her sister's reaction was, is, is that all? Like, we thought you were going to tell us he's dying or something. Um, you know, so they were really accepting too. My grandparents were fantastic. Um, on my mum's side, this is mum's family, my grandparents were fantastic. They always expect me to bring my partner or my boyfriend, if I have one at the time, to Christmas or dinner. Um, even, um, even my uncles, everyone was really great. Um, dad's side of the family, um, we have... Um, my father's family is Malaysian, so I thought they might react a bit differently, but really they haven't... They haven't um, we don't talk about it as much, but none of them have had a problem, ever had a problem with me, ever expressed a problem with me. So I've been really lucky, really, really lucky. And I guess it doesn't make for a very interesting story other than the fact that for those people who are worrying about coming out, um, it's a positive sort of message that, um, you know, the thing that I was stressing the most about, the most about, was that um, how my family would react and how my friends would react and their reaction was so positive um, and so great that I very quickly sort of realized that you know it wasn't going to be a problem um, I remember the first time we had a family gathering at my house um, after I'd come out and my mum said to me look Shannon if anybody has a problem with it this is your home um, they're the ones that can leave and that pretty much set um, the attitude of my parents in stone um, for the rest of my life. Um, and they've always been fantastic and supportive. So that's the answer to that question. Um, it was a very nervous time and it was a time that was very exciting um, because lots of things were new. There were lots of new experiences, lots of new friends, lots of new people to meet. But it was also very scary as well because it became a huge change in my life. I'd had a girlfriend all through high school and um, you know, it, it really turned my life completely around. Um, and that's kind of this it kind of leads into the second question that you guys had, which was what was the hardest and the easiest um, situation to go through that um, made a difference in my life. And, you know, the answer is um, coming out, that whole coming out experience. Um, I got to a point where I was with, with my girlfriend and 
people were saying, are you going to get married? Because we'd been together quite a while and her parents were sort of asking similar questions. Not exact explicitly like that, but you know, it was starting to come up and I looked at my life and I could see that it could go one of two ways. It could either be getting married and having a family and having kids. And I have friends who've done that and who are very happy, but who have then had to come out later or who are living a double life. You know, I didn't want to be one of those guys in his forties going away on business trips and having boys on the side and that kind of thing. Um, I didn't think that was going to be fair on the girl that I was with, or who I genuinely cared about um, as well. So I sort of thought the best thing to do was to go the other way and to come out and let her get on with her life and, and have what she wanted before things got to the point where they were just you, the point of no return, you know, couldn't go back. Um, so it was an incredibly hard time because it was emotionally very difficult. Um, there were a lot of people around me that I cared about that I didn't want to hurt, but which I in some ways had to in order to be able to be myself and, you know, to look after myself and have what I wanted in life as well. Um, it was a hard decision to make, but at the same time, an easy decision to make because there was so many, there was the well-being of so many other people involved um, as well and people who I genuinely wanted to have the best for themselves in life as well. Um, and so that made a real difference to me obviously because I came out and now I have this, in, I have this entirely different lifestyle to what I could have had. Um, that, yeah. That, that would be the answer to that question. And the final question was one that comes up a lot of the time too, and it's about travel and um, where would I like to go, particularly in Europe. I've got friends in Europe and um, I'd love to be able to go over and visit them. Unfortunately, financially and with work and all of that kind of stuff, it hasn't worked out. But of all the places in the world that have sort of called to me, Europe has always been top of the list. and. There's no specific place in Europe. I just love the sense of history and the sense of culture and diversity in Europe. And um, you know, I have friends in the UK I would visit, friends in Germany I would visit, friends all over, I have, yeah, all over that I would love to visit and travel and take photos. The opportunities for photography in, in Europe would just be amazing. Um, so hopefully that will come up either later this year or maybe next year. We'll just have to see how things go. Um, but that's it. Definitely, definitely Europe. Um, and also, you know, I'd love to check out the guys and the clubs and all of that kind of stuff as well. I mean, wherever you go in the world, it tends to be exactly the same. But, um, you know, it's... It, there's always curiosity there that you want to that you want to go and have a look. I'd really actually at the end of this year love to go to South America as well. Machu Picchu has always always been a passion of mine and um, something that I've wanted to photograph as well. So yeah. So there you go, guys. That's um, that's today's talkie blog. Three questions answered. Um, you know, if you want to talk to me, you can email me through the blog. I have a form spring and a Twitter as well. So if you have questions, feel free to fire away um, and I'll try to answer them um, as best as I can. Um, I can't always get to them, but I, I do try. I do try. And I know some of you guys have been emailing me and I've been a bit slow. So I'm sorry about that. But um, there will be another video blog this week. Um, I said I would do an Australia Day video and the weekend was just so wild that I didn't get around to it. But I really what I'm going to do is put a, really going to put together a video for you guys um, on Australianisms and Australian sayings. So that'll be a bit of fun. So you can tune in later in the week for that as well. Alright guys, happiness, abundance and infinite love to you all. And um, I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.